Right, so let's have a look at an example of an of an hyperbola. Right, so in this example, we want to find the focal height vertices and asymptotes of this hyperbola. Of this hyperbola, y squared over four minus x squared is one. Right, we're also going to sketch the curve. So note that even though we're not dividing x squared by anything, we can consider this x squared over one. Right. So, let's see. We have y squared, this general form for this parabola, for this uh, hyperbola, is y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is 1. Right. Where, of course, in this case, a is 2 and b is 1. So that tells us that the vertices, right, the vertices are going to be at x is 0, y is plus or minus a, so that's 0 plus or minus 2. Right, and the foci, right, they will be at 0 plus or minus c. Where remember c squared is a squared plus b squared, so 5 in this case, so c is root 5, so the foci are at 0 plus or minus root 5. Right. And lastly, we need to see what the asymptotes are. Asymptotes are going to be y is plus or minus a over b x. Right, so it's always the divisor for y divided by the divisor for x, no matter what the form of the, per of the, the, per of the hyperbola is. Right, so in this case, our a is 2 and our b is 1. So this would be plus or minus. 2x. Right, so now let's sketch this hyperbola. Right, so let's first draw in the asymptotes. y is plus or minus 2x. Asymptotes. Y is 2x, y is minus 2x. Right, so now where's our vertices? Our vertices are at 0, plus or minus 2. Right, so let's say there's 2 and there's minus 2 and 2. That's our hyperbola. Yeah. Now the last thing to do is to indicate our foci. Foci is 0 plus or minus root 5. That's going to be more or less there. And there. Not too bad. 